Welcome to my channel. Today we are asked to differentiate this particular equation with respect to what x. Now there are two ways to do this. First, I'm going to introduce you to the shortest way. So watch me and see how I'm going to do it. We are given something like this. The first thing you need to do is to, this is, if I should do this like this, that y is equal to 3x to the power of 4 divided by 2x squared plus 2x squared divided by 2x squared minus 1 divided by 2x squared. I've not really changed anything. Yes, I have not. And that is because this 2x squared is dividing each of these numbers that we have as the numerator. Now, what do we do? We go ahead and solve this. Our y is equal to... I'm going to take you to um, indices. And in law of indices, we are told that x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b is equal to x what? You pick one x. That is, you pick one base. It must not be x anyway, any base at all. Once they are of the same base, pick one of the bases and then subtract the powers. That is a minus b. A minus b. Well, luckily for us, what we have here is x as well. So when it comes to this place, 3 divided by 2 is going to be 3 over 2. x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 2 x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 2. If we should make use of this law, we are going to have x, we pick one base and we subtract the powers, 4 minus 2. That means we are going to have x to the power of 2, right? So when we now say x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 2, we are going to have x squared remaining. Plus this divided by this will give us 1 minus 1 over 2. Now there's something I want you to know. This particular, we have 1 over 2x squared. You know it's the same thing as 1 over 2 times what? 1 over x squared. This and this are the same. Now, 1 over x squared is the same thing. That means you can still write this as 1 over 2x to the power of minus 2. How? This is also indices. When you have 1 over something, for example, 1 over 3. Okay? If you want to, okay, let me still use x. This one over x squared, if you want to remove this one over, okay, you are going to replace it with negative. So it's now going to be x to the power of minus 2. That is because you removed one over. That means I'm going to replace one over x squared here with what? x to the power of minus 2. Okay, so we go ahead and differentiate this. It's now easier to differentiate this than this. So let's do that. Now, in differentiation, for those that don't really know how to differentiate, it's actually very easy. For example, if you have 2x squared, if you are asked to differentiate this with respect to x, that is, if this is y, you are asked to differentiate this with respect to x, you are going to do this times this. That is the power times the coefficient. So it's going to be 2 times 2. Now, you write your x squared but you now subtract 1 from the power, okay? You write 2 times 2, which will give you 4, right? Then write your x squared, but subtract 1 from the power. So that is exactly what we are going to do here. So we are going to differentiate this particular function. Now let's go ahead and do so. So we are told that, let's now do our differentiation. That is dy dx. So dy over dx then is going to be equal to we are going to multiply 3 over 2 by the power, right? So we are going to do 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. That is the first thing we need to do. Then we are going to write what? This thing, what we got here, we are going to still write our x to the power of 2. x to the power of 2, but we are going to subtract 1, just like I explained. Now, when you differentiate a constant, you are going to have 0. Now, 1 is a constant. Why is it a constant? It doesn't have x. Notice that this has x, this has x, but this is just one, a constant. It doesn't have x. Now, because it doesn't have x, is a constant. It doesn't have y as well. It's just an ordinary number. When you differentiate a constant, you have zero. So when I differentiate this one, I'm going to have zero. Now, minus, I will now go ahead and differentiate this particular uh, term here. So how do I do it? As usual, this minus 2 is going to multiply 1 over 2, right? So you have minus 2 times 1 over 2. Then you write your x to the power of minus 2 again. x to the power of minus 2. But this time you subtract 1 from the power. 
minus one. That's all. Yeah, very easy. That is all you need to do. Okay, this times this, then that is minus two times half. You write your x to the power of minus two, x to the power of minus two, but you now subtract one minus, you now subtract one from the power. Excuse me. So that is why you have minus two minus one there. So we are done with the differentiation. We now go ahead and solve what we have inside the bracket. So the y over the x is equal to, these two we cancel to, you are left with three, right? Then x, two minus one will give you one. Now you will agree with me that three, that x to the power of one is still x. So it is not mathematically, mathematically wrong, uh, right, sorry, for you to write that one. Now minus, I'm going to ignore this zero. Minus times minus is plus. So I'm going to write my plus without wasting time. Two, we can see two, I will have one remaining, right? So that means I have one X here. So no need of writing one X. I'll just write my X. Now minus two minus one, I'll have minus three. You can see how easy it is. Now, if this is the first time you are coming across my channel, please do well to give it a follow, okay? Just um, subscribe to the channel then on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video most importantly help me to comment like and share so that this video will be distributed to those students that need it for their exam all right there's another way you can write this like this particular solution can still be written as 3x plus remember that when we did 1 over x squared to remove 1 over we wrote x we replaced 1 over with negative right the same thing, if we want to return this back to this, we are going to introduce one over to remove the negative. So this is going to be another solution. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a lovely day. Bye.